Today we're reading Edward the Emu. This emu is sick of the zoo. By Sheena Knowles, illustrated by Rod Clement. We're gonna see some humorous things in this story. Here we have our title page, Edward the Emu. Edward the Emu was sick of the zoo. There was nowhere to go, there was nothing to do. And compared to the seals that lived right next door, well, being an emu was frankly a bore. So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from his pen and he laughed as he said, the seals are the best anybody can tell. So tomorrow I'll just be a seal as well. Can he really be a seal? Hmm. The next morning at nine, when they opened the, at the zoo, the seals were swimming and Edward was too. He dived in the water and basked in the sun and he balanced a ball on his beak just for fun. Well, Edward was really enjoying the day till he overheard someone behind the fence say, the seals are always amusing, it's true, but the lion's the best thing to see at the zoo. How do we think Edward is going to react to that? Hmm, I wonder if he's gonna try to be something different next. So that night, when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward jumped from the pool and he smiled and he said, the lion's the best anybody can tell, so tomorrow I'll just be a lion as well. The next morning at nine, when they opened the zoo, the lions were roaring and Edward was too. He snarled at the ladies and growled at the men. Life was certainly grand for a lion in his den. How do you think he's feeling at pretending to be a lion? When Edward was having a wonderful day, till a man in the crowd had the gumption to say, the lions and beast I shall always detest. The snakes are the things that I like to see best. Does Edward belong in the tree like that? Do you think that's where emus usually sleep? So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward crept from the cage and he grinned as he said, if the snakes are the best things and that's what they say, then tomorrow I'll just be a snake for the day. The next morning at nine when they opened the zoo, the snakes were all hissing and Edward was too. He slipped around the rocks, it was magic to see. Then he curled himself casually up around a tree. Well, Edward was just warming up for the day when he overheard one of the visitors say, the snakes are impressive, I know that it's true, but the emu's by far the best thing at the zoo. The emu, gasped Edward. My goodness, that's me. I'm the thing that the gentleman most likes to see. Not the seals, the lions, the snakes, and the rest. It's Edward the emu he likes to see best. What's a snake thinking right now?
So that night when the zookeeper went home to bed, Edward slipped from the cage and he laughed as he said, if the emu's the best, then that's easy then. Tomorrow I'm Edward the emu again. I wonder if the snakes are happy. Edward ran to the place where he used to reside. But oh, what a shock when he clambered inside. He found himself suddenly come face to face with the emu they'd bought in to take Edward's place. Oh my goodness. The emus considered each other a while. Then the new emu said with a shy little smile, Hello, I'm Edwina. It's nice meeting you. You're the best thing I've seen since I came to the zoo. And that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed Edward the Emu.